my former opponent, the Honourable the, the right Honourable Member for Islington North. I'm grateful to the Prime Minister for taking a break from his fantasy tour of this country. <laughs> could, he, could he take one moment to explain why 14 million people in this country are living in poverty, why there are more food banks than there are branches of McDonald's, why there is a mental health crisis, why Big Pharma have made so much out of owning the patents of the vaccines, why his government is presiding over the enriching of the richest, the impoverishment of the poorest, and the greatest job insecurity in industry after industry. He has created poverty, inequality and insecurity. That is his legacy. I'm, I'm, th I'm thrilled to, uh, to be debating again with the right honourable gentleman. Uh, and and, and since, I, since our last encounters, uh, I can tell him I am proud that we have actually got unemployment down uh, to at, at or no uh, record lows. I, I, know, I, I know that he would rather have people uh, on benefits, but I don't think that's the way forward, Mr Speaker. And, and he talks about 14 million uh, people. Uh, let, let me tell him. 40 million people uh, voted. 14 million people voted uh, for this Conservative government, uh, and, and this Conservative government is undefeated at the polls. And, let, and, that, uh, and never let, let that be forgotten.